What's up everyone? Jay Ingersoll here, MCI EDP Studios. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. Today I'm going to give you guys six reasons why artists fail. So before we jump into that, if you get anything out of this video or, or this video strikes you in any way, gives you any value, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. It really helps me out and I appreciate that. And if something does stick out, comment below on what it was. Jumping right into this, the first reason why artists fail is they don't have any goals or they don't have any systems in place to hit those goals. So they don't have clear defined, stamped out, timed out goals that they want to accomplish. They kind of just throw stuff out there and see what sticks. And I'm telling you, we live in a world where this method is very unlikely to work. You may see it sometimes happen and work here or there, but it's just like winning the lottery. It's not going to happen. You got to put the work in. So you got to set the goals and you got to have the timelines and the structures and the systems in place to accomplish those goals. So the second reason why artists fail kind of ties into the first reason. They don't have a plan. So even if they have goals, they don't have a set plan of what days they want to release music each month, what that looks like. Their stuff planned out so they know what kind of content they want to put out. They're just kind of doing the same thing. Throwing stuff out there and see if it sticks. And that doesn't work. The third reason why artists fail is they're not consistent with re releases or content. If people are into you and they see you put out some music one time in June, six songs, and all of a sudden it's been 18 months before they heard another song. My friend, this is not good business. Or you put out a single back in March and all of a sudden it's two years later and you're putting out another song, no one's really going to be able to latch on to what you're doing because you have no consistent release on schedule or plan. If you don't come out with a new video every week or plan to have a new reel out or a new TikTok multiple times a week with a short form content, you're going to just absolutely fail. you got to have all of those things set to a goal, plan it out, and then have your consistent releases for your content and your streams and your songs. All right, the fourth reason why artists fail is because they think they're better than what they really are, so they don't do the work because they just think that their talent alone is going to carry them to the next level. And we, again, operate in a world where this does not work. You have to put the work in and you have to humble yourself. I think everybody as a musician has always gotten that space where, oh, the heck with them, I'm better than that, or I'm better than this producer, or I'm better than this rapper. Well, it's not really about that. It's more competition with yourself, right? You can't think that you're better than what you are. That'll never get you anywhere. Be confident, but be humble. All right, so the fifth reason why artists fail is they still believe in the old mentality that a label is going to come scoop them up. They're going to find them at some show they might perform, some showcase, they might just randomly hear their song on SoundCloud. They think that some label's going to find them, scoop them up, and then make all the dreams come true. And really, labels are just a loan. And if you don't produce and don't learn how to pay back that loan in a proper time, you're, you're kind of screwed. So this whole label waiting on that, that's an old mentality. You have to learn how to build it yourself. Which brings me to the sixth point of the reason why artists fail is because they do not take the time, effort, and energy to learn the skills that, that are needed to build a fan base around their music. Obviously, I'm talking if your music is good already, but if you don't know how to build a fan base, you're not taking the time, you're not investing in the programs, there's lots of them out there to show you how to actually build a fan base, and if you're not following through with those steps or have the systems in place, then you're sure to fail. But you have to build that fan base for yourself, one-on-one, -on -one, one at a time, and figure out how you can get your art in front of other people. Keeping this video fairly short, if you liked anything on this video, please comment below what it was. Like and share this video if you could, please. I really appreciate it with someone that could use it. And please subscribe. All right. Much love to you guys. Until next time, peace.